हेलो वर्ल्ड इट्स राहुल वेलकम बैक गाइस टू मशीन लर्निंग ट्यूटोरियल सो वी हैव सीन सो फार हाउ कैन वी सॉल्व क्लासिफिकेशन प्रॉब्लम यूजिंग के एन एन सपोर्ट वैक्टर मशीन एंड डिसीजन प्रियल गॉर्डम टूडे वील बी गोइंग टू डिस्कस ट्रेंडम फॉरेस्ट बट बिफोर गोइंग अहेड लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस एनसेम्बल टेक्निक्स विच विल हेल्प अस टू अंडरस्टैंड रेंडम फॉरेस्ट गॉर्डम इन अ मोर क्लियर वे लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज एनसेम्बल टेक्निक by considering a real life example let's say person a wants to go out for a vacation but he is not sure where should he go so what he will do is he will go to his friend and ask where should he go for vacation by considering his past tours so his friend will suggest him some of the places based on his past tours now person a wants to ask some more friends as he is not fully convinced with this guy so his other friends will also ask some of the random questions from him and provide a final destination where he should go for a vacation now person a will consider the place with most votes so this process is nothing but the ensemble technique where we are having different decision tree with us operated as ensemble and we get this by the method called bootstrapping and each individual tree spits out a class prediction and class with most votes would be considered as a final target class and this is known as bagging so guys now let's quickly start understanding what is random forest and how is this algorithm used over decision tree let's see we have some data set as shown on the screen and this data set has o number of observations and c number of columns so here we are going to use bootstrap technique where we will have different decision tree models with us as shown earlier in the example so now we will try to pick up some sample of column and some sample of rows and give it to any of the model let's say these are our model as m1 m2 m3 and m4 so i will provide row sampling data with replacement plus column sampling data also known as feature bagging to model m1 and this data will be considered as data 1 and guys this will always be less than actual data as we know that this is just a sample of complete populated data guys just to add one thing over here is that replacement is nothing but the repetition of some of the records while we are feeding samples to the models so same way we will provide some samples of rows with replacement plus sample of columns to model m2 same way we will go for model m3 and for model m4 so guys there may be chances that some of the records are present in more than one model due to replacement in row sampling and that's not a problem because most of the observations will be unique for each decision tree model so once we will provide the data to all decision tree model these model will be able to give us model prediction with target class let's say if we want to check our complete random forest algorithm on blind data set then what will happen so suppose decision tree model m1 will give a prediction of class a by considering it as binary classification problem model 2 will give class b model 3 will give class a and model 4 will give class a so guys by making use of bootstrap we have model prediction based on different decision tree models now what we will do is we make an aggregation or bagging of all these model outputs by taking majority votes for target class so now we can say that we are getting class a as majority target class so guys this completes as random forest where we have different decision tree models work as a base learner we bootstrap data sampling to these base learner and during the time of model prediction we make aggregation of all the outcomes we can use random forest for both classification and regression problem during the time of regression we take mean or median of all the outcome we get from the different decision tree model instead of taking majority class 
Guys, one thing to note here is that we are randomly sample the data. That's why it is called random. And as we have forest of different decision tree, so we call it as random forest. So guys, till now we have understood what is random forest and how does it work. But still we have one question that how is this algorithm good in comparison of decision tree. So guys, as we already know that when we build decision tree and we go till depth length, their model has low bias and high variance. And this will become a case of overfitting where model performs good on training data set but when we introduce blind data to model its accuracy decreases exponentially. So guys we can overcome this problem of overfitting in random forest as here we are using multiple decision tree and let's say if these decision tree has high variance then also we take majority of all these as our model output and this will reduce the variance from high to low as we are not dependent on any particular decision tree over here. Just to add one thing that number of observations and change in observations does not impact the functionality of random forest algorithm as we are taking sample of data during the time of model training. Thank you guys for your time. Do like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. Happy learning and stay safe.